Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you a very quick way to make this low poly, kind of cartoony fire particle system in Unity. So just to start off I'm gonna delete everything. First thing you want to do, go to your hierarchy and uh, just create a right click and create a effect particle system. If you press F2 on your keyboard, you can rename it. I'm just gonna rename this to fire particle system. As you can see our particles don't look very low poly so what we're gonna do we're going to create a new material. I, I'll rename this to fire particle system material and then go up to shaders and change it to particles alpha blended. You can now go back to your fire particle system go down to renderer and change your default material to your newly created fire material and now you can see that our particle system looks much more low poly. First I'm going to go down to shape and change the cone size. So I'm going to change the angle to around 10. And the radius to around 0 0.5. As you can see particles go pretty high up. So I'm just going to go over to start lifetime. I'm going to change this to around 1.5. That looks much better. Next I'm going to go over to color over lifetime and going to check that. Now you can edit the color. When our particles spawn we want them to be very bright and kind of yellow and when they despawn we want them to be very dark and red, almost black. So I'm going to change our last color here to something like this and our starting color to a very bright yellow. Now to add some more detail we can go here and click around here and add a new color. I want to add a orange color, something like this. I'm just going to click up here to add a new alpha slider. I'm going to select the starting alpha and I'm just going to change it to zero. And I'm going to select the last alpha and then change that to zero. As you can see now we have this fading effect when they're spawning in and when they're spawning out. I mean despawning. Now we can play around with this to get a nice nice looking fire. This is all up to preference. I think mine looks pretty good. If you think you have two little particles here you can just go to emission and then change this rate over time. I'm gonna change mine to around 20 maybe a bit less. Let's see how 15 looks. Yeah 15 is fine. Just to add some more random randomness to this I'm gonna go over to size over lifetime then you can click onto this curve and select it if you don't have this here your yours is probably like this so just click and drag and move it up so when our particles spawn their size is zero and over time they go to one so what we want to do we want to change their starting size so just drag this up to around 0.5 maybe a bit more I think that looks pretty good. What I want to do now is I just want to change our start speed to around 3. That is much better. I think that is all for this part. But now we want to go over, select this and just press Ctrl D and duplicate it. If you press F2 on your keyboard again you can rename it. I'm just gonna rename this to Fire Sparks. And I want to create a new material for this. So just go here, press Ctrl D to duplicate and then go go up here to shaders and go to particles and then go to additive. You can rename this to fire sparks material and then go to fire sparks go down to renderer and change the material again. So just drag it over and you can see that uh, the additive material is much brighter. The sparks I'm just gonna pair in them to the particle system. I'm gonna go to emission and then change the rate over time to around 10. I think that's good enough. And I want to change the start speed to around 4. I like my sparks to go a bit faster so I'm just gonna go to simulation speed and change this to 1.5. Maybe a bit lower, 1.3, 1.2, 1.3. I think 1.3 is good. And I want to change the start size to 0.2. So if you have a look, you can see we have a pretty nice fire particle system. 
this is obviously very low poly and kind of for for beginners but i think it looks pretty good for a prototype game or f for a very cartoony stylized looking game so if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like down below uh comment anything you want leave a like and um also subscribe and follow me on my social media and hopefully i'll see you next time Bye bye